Milton. This is my good boy. This is my good boy. Milton, sit. <laughs> or lay down. <laughs> How's my tired boy? Maddie, girl. Maddie, look at me. Madeline. Madeline, look at your mother. Madeline. Madeline, look away. Oh, okay. Oh, you said, oh, good, good, good girl. Morning, guys. It is a beautiful day outside, and I am in a great mood because if you watched my Cut Down to KetoCon challenge video, a week one recap, I crushed it this week. Like, I did so well. I met my macros exactly, and I exercised all the time I wanted to. Like, I did so well, and it just feels great to hit your goals and to feel like you're doing what it takes to make yourself proud. So, like, I'm pretty much awesome right now. And like, I hope you are too, okay? If you're not meeting your goals, just step back, get some resolve, get some discipline, and let's do it. That's all we gotta do, discipline, consistency. That's it, and we're champions. All right guys, I am on my way to the gym, but before I get to the gym, I gotta have some, everyone avert your eyes, this is kind of private. Oh, zip fizz, oh, black cherry. Oh, oh, black cherry. Sometimes I'll be acting like I don't really like you for real, but you know I like you, okay? All right, everyone, get ready to shake it on this sunny day in three, two, one. To knocking it out of the park. you guys so let's get to the gym and get it going Okay guys, I just finished at the gym. As you saw, 45 minutes on the incline treadmill. Like, it was great. I think I burned over 400 calories. For this challenge, I am pushing myself even on Sundays when I do the treadmill. For the first two weeks, I'm doing 45 minutes. So that's what I just did there. And then for the last two weeks, I'm gonna do 60 minutes. So upping it even more. Like, and I started off walking at a four incline and a 3.2. And by the end of it, I was up to 11. Like it was amazing. So not only am I increasing it more in the last few minutes of my workout, every 10 minutes I increased it in a degree, what, I don't know, a degree so that I was spending more time walking at a higher incline. Like, ugh, it was amazing and I was sweating and it was hard work. You guys, like normally around this time, I would say like, okay, off to Meyer, but no, 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 not today. Guess where I am going, you guys? Drum roll, uh, Costco. What? Who am I, Autumn Costco, really? Yes, you guys, there's like a Costco right next to my house and it's been there for years. And I was like, you know what? I wanna be a member of Costco. Let's be 100% honest, you guys, 90% of the reason I wanted to become a Costco member was like for the Zip Fizz, you know? And if I get there and they have peach mango in there, you guys, you're gonna see a video of me running up and down the aisles, okay? Like, I don't, I don't care. I'm so excited. But Costco has some great things, I already know. They already got the Kerrygold. They got that rice cauliflower. They have so much keto-friendly stuff that I am so excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Costco and like bulk buy all of my keto essentials and then anything that I don't find there, I'll go to Meyer. You know, I can't leave Meyer behind. Like Meyer is my day one, but like Costco is taking it to another level. Um, comment down below. Oh, somebody is calling me. Rude. It's my mom. Oh my God. So I completely lost my train of thought. You guys, so I'm going to Costco and then I'm going to Meyer. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm making this week. So I am making standard breakfast, three eggs, two slices of bacon, one piece of sausage. That's a little three, two, one combo that I didn't really think about till right this minute, what? Uh, and then for my snacks, I'm having cheese and pepperoni. For my second meal, I am 
pretty, I'm pretty much eating the same thing, except I'm cutting out one of the vegetables. I'm either having broccoli or cauliflower since I'm decreasing my calories to 1400 for my cut down to KetoCon challenge. Uh, I'm, I'm cutting it in half, but I don't really know which one I'm gonna have yet. And I'm just gonna top it with butter to keep it super simple. My plan is to have some of that Costco kielbasa. What, I already know, I already know, I pre-scoped um, for my second protein, but I really don't know how that's gonna fit into my macros exactly. And of course, Jell-O, Zevia, and that whipped cream that I ended up having last week, like just on a whim, changed my entire life. And everyone kept saying, put some cocoa powder in it to like make a chocolate mousse. And I was like, like little emoji, like brain exploding emoji. Like that is such a great idea that that's what I'm going to do as well. So guys, let's get to Costco and let's get our entire lives. I like those Balenciagas, oh, the ones that look like stars. Okay guys, I am pumped because it's two o'clock and I am already done with meal prep. Like, I'm so happy. I'm gonna sit down and chill out for an hour and then of course I have to go to the shop and do some work. But like, the fact that I'm already done and this week's meal prep is so easy, but it's gonna be so good. I cannot wait to show it to you after everything cools down. Also, I cannot wait to show you uh, look at this, this is a little preview already because normally I show you what I prep for the week ahead, but I don't really show you what I eat on Sundays. And that's because it's all over the place, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. But with this cut down to KetoCon challenge, I am hitting my macros seven days a week, okay? Even though my meal prep is for six, I gotta figure out how to meet those macros on the seventh day, which is Sunday. So really, I'm actually kind of just doing a preview while I'm cooking up my meal prep why don't I just cook a little bit extra to eat today? So, look at that delicious kielbasa that I have. And this is some eggs in um, American cheese. Now, we all know that's plastic cheese and I will definitely not be having it as part of my meal prep, but that's what Sunday is for. Get a little creative, have some fun, okay? Put some plastic on top of your food, all right? <laughs> also, had a leftover Zevia from somewhere, so that's happening. Okay guys, I am back home. Time always gets away from me when I'm at the shop, but I'm back and I cannot wait to show you this awesome meal prep. Let's take a look. All right, so first we have some Zip Fizz for my Zip Fizz roulette in the morning. I'm really excited. I got some new colors in there. We got some limon, we got some orange soda. Yes, you guys, there is some grape. Don't worry, I'm, I'm trying not to be as much of a grape hater as I used to be. It's okay. They did not have peach mango, but I will be back and I will be on the lookout. Breakfast, we got my three, two, one. I got three eggs, two slices of bacon, and one piece of sausage. I am so excited about that. Next, we have a snack. So I have my cheese squares here, and I can't have my pepperonis this week. Like, I really needed a very specific fat and protein ratio. So I kind of tinkered around and saw that I could have like two ounces of chicken and like a, a three quarters of a tablespoon of mayo. Like, this is gonna be the world's saddest chicken salad, but that'll be okay. 
finally we have my delicious kielbasa that I just cooked up and got all crispy and I am so excited about that. And then I got my broccoli and I'm gonna top it with butter. And then for my desserts, I got some Jello and I got some Zevia. Lord Jesus, I'm almost forgetting one of the most important things, what? Got that cream on deck. Okay, yeah, let me set this down here. Jeez Louise. I got the heavy cream and the cocoa powder and the monk fruit. Oh, that's gonna be a great snack. Oh, I can't believe I'm, now I definitely wouldn't have forgot to put it in my meal prep. I would have just forgotten to show it on this video. Oh no, I'm eating that this week. <laughs> Even though I'm only at 1400 calories, like I am so excited, I'm feeling so great, and I cannot wait to continue on with the challenge. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.